The CNIB recently announced they'll be launching a guide dog training program to help service more Canadians across the country. The program is well underway as the pups are in the first 18-month stage of their training process. I don't know about you, Mike, but I would love to train some pooches. Who doesn't love puppies? And training them to change someone's life, that's about as rewarding as it gets. To learn more, I made my way down to the CNIB offices here in Toronto. Today you are all here to help us celebrate and launching a brand new program at the CNIB that we're very excited about. The CNIB's Guide Dog Training Program is in full swing. John Rafferty, President and CEO of the CNIB, explained to us why the organization wanted to get into the business in the first place. Well, we started doing research about five years ago, um, looking at uh, the landscape of guide dog users, looking at how many guide dog users there are, are in Canada compared to other countries around the world. Uh, and we felt that, uh, that there was a need. Uh, we felt that wait times were longer than, than they needed to be. Manager of canine development and training, Karen Hanlon, says an important step in reducing those wait times is having well-trained dogs. And that's where the puppy raisers come in. In the very early days of guide dogs, uh, when they didn't have puppy raisers, what they used to do is go to the local pound or to a breeder or to uh, you know, fam take family pets, young family pets uh, that haven't been puppy raised and try and train them as guide dogs. And their success rate was very low, probably something like 20%. Once they started using uh, volunteers to, to raise them and they were raised specifically to be guide dogs, uh, the success rate jumped. One of the program's first volunteer puppy raisers, Joan McGorn, told us how she got involved and what she hopes to get out of the experience. I've always wanted a dog and my kids are now grown and grown up enough to actually help out. And so we sort of talked as a family and decided, okay, you know, we're doing, my daughter was like, we're doing this, we're doing this. Um, knowing that, you know, it's a big commitment, it's a huge responsibility, but just knowing the end goal, like, why not do it? While Joan obviously isn't looking forward to giving up Piper, she is extremely enthusiastic about volunteering and raising a guide dog that will change someone's life. I think if I do everything right, I'm going to be proud of, you know, what he becomes, knowing and hoping that he'll be successful and knowing that I've done everything that I can to make him successful. So and I, I really think that's the big reward. Victoria Nolan has been a guide dog user for 10 years, and she shared with us the massive impact having a service animal has made on her life. The first time I used a guide dog, it was an incredible feeling. Uh, I, I was able to walk faster than I'd walked in years. Uh, you take hold of that harness and they just walk with such confidence and gently guide you around people and obstacles. And uh, I think it was the closest thing I could get to getting my sight back. Victoria's experience is shared by many guide dog users, and she is grateful for the volunteers who take the time to help make an impact. As one of those volunteer trainers, Joan has some encouraging words for anyone out there who might be thinking about getting involved. Do it. it like, really, when else do you get this kind of experience? And for me, even as, even as an introduction to uh, having a dog, just that whole process, you know, maybe I, I won't be so leery. I'm like, yeah, I've done this, I can do that. I'll just get my own dog. Just in the whole idea of volunteering, you know, giving back, I think that's a great, it, it really is all, that, that whole process is, is amazing. So, Mike, do you think you're gonna take part in this program? My wife and I have been talking about it and we're leaning towards it for sure. What about you, you ever own a dog? Actually I did, yeah, in university, one of my roommates brought home a dog named Benji. So the five of us helped raise him and it was a pretty great experience, especially because he was a rescue and he needed some rehabilitation. Now everybody out there and I wanna know, what happened to Benji? <laughs> He's doing all right. He's living it up up in North Bay with my older roommate. Well, that's good to hear. If you at home are interested in learning more or getting involved with the Guide Dog Training Program, head on over to cnib.ca. And if you don't live in Toronto and really want to get involved, don't worry, because the CNIB is looking for volunteer puppy raisers in Markham, Aurora, Newmarket, Halifax, and Winnipeg.